Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you Miss Eiffel? Yes. Am I interrupted? Yes. I'm the assistant your publisher's hired. The publishers think I have writer's block. Do you have writer's block? I don't know how to kill Harold Crick. This is a story about a man named Harold Crick. Harold lived a life of solitude. He would walk home alone. He would eat alone. When others' minds would fantasize about their upcoming day... Hello? Harold just counted brush strokes. All right, who just said Harold just counted brush strokes? Dave, I'm being followed. How are you being followed? You're not moving. It's by a woman's voice. She's narrating. Oh. Harold couldn't concentrate on his work. I can't think while you're talking. You have a voice speaking to you. About me, accurately, and with a better vocabulary. Harold found himself exasperated. Shut up! Cursing the heavens in futility. No, I'm not. I'm cursing you, you stupid voice. So shut up and leave me alone! So you're the young gentleman who called me about the narrator. The thing to determine conclusively is whether you're in a comedy or a tragedy. Have you met anyone recently who might loathe the very core of you? I'm an IRS agent. Get bent, tax man! Everyone hates me. Well, that sounds like a comedy. Have you written anything new today? I figured out how to kill Harold Crick. Little did he know that events had been set in motion that would lead to his imminent death. What? Why? Hello? Come on! This woman, Karen Eiffel, is one of my favorite authors. Hi. That's her. That's the voice. She's the narrator. Karen Eiffel, my name is Harold Crick. I believe you're writing a story about me. Is this a joke? You have to understand that this isn't a story to me. It's my life. I want to live. I need to speak to Karen Eiffel. I'm one of her characters. I'm sorry? I'm in her new book, and she's going to kill me. Oh. Oh. How exciting is that? That is the 